Good morning or afternoon, Adam X Hopers. Look at this. I'm so excited that I have no words. It's ridiculously large. <laughs> We're here at the Fentiman Arms. It is a beautiful sunny 2nd of April. Is it 2nd? Second? Second yes, 2nd of, of April. We've been to church and now I've convinced Adam to take me to lunch and I'm very excited about it. So I've got to get on. Shout out to the Fentiman Arms because they bring mayonnaise without asking. And that was quick, wasn't it? Really quick service. Yeah, I suppose they've got lots of the roasts ready to go. Yeah, but fish and chips. How's your fish and chips? Oh, that was absolutely 100%. The best fish and chips I've ever had, I think. And I must have had three. What, three chips? No, three fish and chips in my life. What? <laughs> fish and chips is Adam's signature meal. Yeah, no, I probably had like 200. No! I, one day, do you think our kids will be able to... It'll be automatically tallied off how many fish and chips they've had, or how many girls they've kissed, or... No, I don't. Times they Not unless they're like Kim Kardashian or someone. Themselves with Siri. No, I don't think that's gonna and happen. You, and if you want, and if you're like, at a dinner party, it can be like, oh, how many times have you done this? And it's like, oh, I'll just... Oh, I've done it 83,000 times. That's how many times I've peed on the toilet seat. And then the girl's like, well... I don't want to go out with you then. So it'll be a blessing and a curse. Right. Well, I'll look forward to that day. Anyway, my food was good. What are we doing now? We're going to do some wedding planning. The we've sacred got, book. Also known about... as the Bible. We're <laughs> about halfway. Halfway to the book. That means we're the halfway a good marriage. Halfway there to a good marriage? I don't know. What's this? I'm gonna hit you with some quality wedding planning tips, okay? Here's our wedding planning. First tip is in the morning on a Saturday or a Sunday or any day off you have where you plan to get some real dense into your planning instead of just jumping on into the first subject you think of trying to achieve for ex you know, trying to order a cake or whatever order a hairdressing thing what you should do which we've done neither of <laughs> yeah, those are like the last thing anyway um, you should write a to-do list which is pretty obvious but actually if you do it as a couple and like kind of say these are all the things we want to achieve today or try and achieve as many of these as we can and then if we do that then we can be happy and maybe we can have the evening off and then we can go out to dinner or just chill or just basically feel satisfied that we've done enough it's kind of like studying and revision and stuff it's we're like, what? with revision <laughs> revision <laughs> nuclear fission um, <gasps> There's big army things. Where are they? There they are. You see them? Army helicopters. There's like a fleet of them. There's three of them. What are they doing? Three. Anyway. I drew a little picture just to sum that up. Yeah, there's three of them. I said. Oh. Why is he a small one? Mummy, daddy, and little baby. <laughs> right, anyway, carry on. Um. We write lists. Write lists, and then you basically just. What I like to do is I like to get off the. Quick off the, sm the smallest, quickest ones first. I don't actually know what is the best way to do it. Some people say it's better to. Like Adam Savage from Tested says, he likes to do the difficult ones first. And then everything I, else is easy. The, yeah, then everything else is easy. <clears throat> but I kind of feel like when you're in a couple, it's actually more productive and it makes you both feel good if you can like achieve small ones early on and then leave the bigger ones. But I don't know, that could be bad advice. But And sometimes we do the jobs together, like we'll both 
So Adam's designing the order of service, but we might both sit there and talk about it. But then sometimes we'll be like, okay, you do this while I do this. So it kind of depends. Yeah. Um, sometimes there's funner ones that one of you wants to do. Like Adam's like, I'm going to do a gift list. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Because I like doing that too. Um, but yeah, we've only got really two big things left at the moment which is the order of service and the seating plan the order of service is adam's forte and the seating plan is pretty much my forte all of those wedding politics coming into one room so wish us luck for that today we'll still arguments to come i'm sure <laughs> no, we haven't argued that much have we no we've really been enjoying it we argue mostly about the gift list i would say it's like when adam's like i want this and i'm like no and then eventually he convinces me. Yeah. He's done that twice. Okay? Yeah, that's happened because I, I was looking at Hoover's and I was like, oh, I saw an advert for a Dyson. Cordless Hoover. We're not being paid by Dyson, but I just saw videos. Don't know if you guys seen the videos, and they just look spectacular. Like, cordless, like, handheld thing. You just kind of really, and then you just click it into the wall, and then it charges. And I was, like, in love with it as soon as I saw it. Um, but Hope was like, no, there is absolutely no way. I don't think you need to pay me that badly. I was just like, no, I want an upright yeah. paper. I don't want to have to be bending over. You were pretty adamant, right? I was pretty adamant. But the thing is, another wedding tip, just be persistent. You know, be, you know, be determined. When someone's stupid, you have to educate them, you know. No, what happened is we went into store, I picked it up and realised the only reason I didn't want it because I didn't want to have to bend down, like with a Henry Hoover style. But actually, yeah. it was tall enough and it was completely fine, so I was like, okay, we have it. Also, the biggest reason why I did it is because at the moment, our bedroom between the like bed and where my chair is, is like a really small gap. We can't fit our hoover through it, so I have to pick it up over the gap. So that's basically the biggest reason why I wanted it, because it's light. But um, but now, every time I'm like, let's get this, and I'm like, no. He's like, well, you thought that about the hoover? And the speakers as well. I think the speakers are really ugly, but... Hey, 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 hey. So. Does anybody live in California? Because this is what we have to do in England. Even when it's sunny, we still need heaters. <laughs> Why California specifically? It's always sunny. It's always hot. Yeah, Australia. Jamaica, right, people are getting bored. Where are we going next? We're going home. Oh. Shit. <laughs> what happened to the university players who go to the beach and go to the aquarium and go to the fun oh, ball pit? Oh, university players? Yeah. Bye. Bye. No, be a bit more enthusiastic. Say bye, this thanks for watching. This the best thing I've ever got, Adam. We're really enjoying using it for wedding planning. Yeah. It's bright and black, and we tip off in green or red if we haven't accomplished it. We yeah. don't really use them though. So like the red means... Am I not doing this today? We've decided not to do it today. I used to just tick things, you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, a bit of a good. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Uh, did You know, I used to just tick them, but then she come out with this anyway. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Nah.